First take the three Allen screws off of the housing to remove the end plate. When removing the end plate, make sure to check the carbon plate behind it for any chips, breaks, cracks, or worn areas. If any are found, the carbon plate will need to be replaced before putting the end plate back on. Second, remove each carbon vein individually. Check each one for chips, breaks, or cracks. If there is any damage to the carbon veins, they will need to be replaced with a new set. If there is no damage to any of the carbon veins, reverse your steps by putting the carbon veins and carbon plate back into place. Then secure the end plate with the Allen screws until they are finger tight. Start the unit to make sure you have the correct air pressure before tightening completely. And be sure not to over tighten.